down. We're back again. Uh, just about to start our travel day to Crete. A little bit different from doing an Orlando travel day. <laughs> um, uh, but we're all packed and ready to go to the airport now. We're flying from Leeds, Bradford at five o'clock uh, late afternoon, early evening. Uh, it's all forecast to be on time, so hopefully it will all go smoothly. I'm sure it will do. Fingers crossed. Um, but we're about to uh, head to the airport now. We've got to stop off at Home Bargains on the way, though, for those of you that are viewing in the UK, um, and get some travel adapters, because we've only got two, and I don't think that'll be enough, so we're going to pick up another couple uh, on the way. But rather than paying airport prices, we'll pay uh, 80p to a pound for one, rather Cheaper than six price. pounds for one. Um, but we'll take you along with us. And we're about to go load the car. Yeah, so we hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully it'll be a good mini vlog series. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, let's go to Crete. Woo! <laughs> so we're in the car now. We are on our way to the airport. It's going to take about 40 minutes. Um, not including our little stop off at Home Bargains. Oh, 40 so. minutes. <laughs> it's so ridiculous because it takes like an hour to get to Manchester Airport. Um, which is on the motorway and everything for us, but then our local airport, it, uh, Leeds Bradford, takes 40 minutes. So it's not really much in it, but you know, oh well, we're going on holiday, so we're excited. Um, we're just coming for some sun, some lovely Greek food, just to explore Crete a little bit. So yeah, we're on our way now, so we just can't wait to get to the airport. Hopefully, it's not too busy. Um, there's been a lot of horror stories online, but you know, hopefully, it won't be like that. We shall see. But shall catch up with you in a little bit. So we've just been to Home Bargains and tried to find the laptop but we didn't have any which was um, a bit strange because it looked like everything but okay, there's a power line nearby so we literally just scooped over there really quickly and managed to get a couple. Um, they're only a pound so obviously break we're not too bothered but um, yeah we've got those now we've got two we've got the last two and um, we are on the way to the airport and um, Ollie's obviously just driving ETA is 20 minutes to get to the airport so that's not too bad um, so yeah 20 minutes so we hit a bit of there. traffic didn't we just around the corner from the shops um, but I think it's because there's loads of road work so it's it's pretty clear now isn't it on the road so yeah. hopefully fingers crossed um, we are Obviously going to Leeds Bradford, which we've mentioned, and we're staying at the Long Stay Car Park, which there's a little shuttle bus, which takes a couple of minutes, I think. You might be able to walk as well, but we'll just see when we get there. Yeah. Um, we want to get there a few hours early, just because um, we need to have something to eat um, while we're there. But we don't fly till quite late. Well, we fly at five, but then we don't land until nearly five 11. Hours. And then we've obviously got to get to our um, little house that we've got. Um, in the centre of Hanya, which is the capital, and yeah, so it's going to be quite a long day, and so we need to make sure we eat before we go because we're not sure what's going to be open when we get there because it's going to be quite late. So I think the plan is as well is we're going to pick up a Boots meal deal as well just to share for later on because we'll eat at say like three o'clock and then we won't eat again, um, and we're also picking up this is a, a, one of my travel top tips. Uh, <laughs> Ollie's top tip. Um, We'll do that as a segment. We did the cookie segment before, so we can do that as a segment. Um, <clears throat> no, so you can do a click and collect order with Boots and get them delivered to the airport. So you, you pay online prices and get all the online promotions rather than the price at the airport. So we're gonna have to go and collect stuff from Boots. It's all there and everything. Um, but like, for example, for sun cream, because it was on offer, we've only paid two pound 80 for some, rather than I think at the airport, standard is like five, six quid for a bottle, so. Yeah, so we've got all of our like shampoos and everything ready to collect after we've gone through security. Yeah. And which is a lot easier and we can just dump it in the bags and things, but we don't have to then try and cram it into all those um little toiletry bags and stuff for the security checks and everything. Which you just can never get everything so, in, can you? No. Um but yeah, so we're on our way now, it's not gonna be too long and hopefully it's not gonna be too busy, so we will keep you updated.
so we've just come off that bus there and it was literally not even a couple of minutes to come over um, so easy to get and it turned up as we were at the car park which is amazing so the queues look very busy inside so hopefully it's not going to be too crazy but we're here so yeah we shall so see what happens okay so we are we've just come in the doors and the queue is literally not even anywhere near security it is insane so ollie's going to see because we have fast track to see what the crack is with that um, and if there's another queue for us so otherwise it's going to be ages all the queue it is insane god we paid for that okay so it's so good that we paid for fast track security because this queue is You'd be waiting massive an hour. yeah this is just i've never ever seen it like this before <laughs> so we're going down our own little thing now which is amazing Skipping all this. Fast track. Oh. oh my gosh, that was intense, wasn't it, Kieran? Oh, notification. Um, we'll just wait for that to finish. Um, so we've managed to get through airport security all fine. Um, Thank God we paid for fast track because I, I swear you would have been in that an hour and a half to two hours the other queue. Minimum. It was it's just it was just as soon as crazy. you come in the airport, it was the queue at the back of the airport, that was it. Yeah. So we're just walking through now, so I'll just uh, swing round. Um so with leads, as soon as you come through security you go upstairs. Oh, look, there's the um, and there's the jet two thing outside. That's so where the queue started for the security small. started all the way over there. And I spoke to one of the guys and he just said it's a national issue. Um so then you have the king of the Whopper. Oh, they actually sell Bud Light as well. Um, we've got duty free. You've got a little bit of grab and go food there. Um, but what we're gonna do is go through duty free and find somewhere to sit down. We're not really gonna do any shopping because we don't have any room for it. So yeah, but that was, that was stressful. I can't believe how busy it is. Bloody hell. Um, so it's not a very big duty free, but you just walk through it. To be fair, it looks exactly like the last time that we came to Leeds Bradford Airport. So it's nice. And just as a comparison, so we paid a pound each for our travel adapters. And here they are, I mean, a minimum of £5.49 for a US one. The EU ones don't have the price on, but yeah. So not cheap. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go find somewhere to have a drink now, get some of the food, pick up our click and collect order from Boots, and we'll check in with you shortly. Hey everyone, so uh, you probably can't hear us, it's quite loud in here. Here's Kieran. Uh, we've just come into the cabin bar at Leeds Bradford Airport to have a drink and to get some food. That's just arrived now. They said it was going to be a 45 minute wait, but it got here in like 10 minutes, didn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, we're just trying to relax now. We've picked up our and collect all of the boots. That's all fine. Uh, we'll try and do a bit more filming of the airport, but it is really busy, so we probably won't do too much. So anything you want to say, Kieran? No, but we've got some cheesy chips and some nachos. So here's the cheesy chips and the nachos and a massive massive pot of tomato sauce for this one um, and then a nice beer moretti and a malibu and lemonade and a water so, yeah, yummy. <laughs> fab well what we'll do is we'll um we'll put the camera down now but then we'll do some more filming a little bit later and we'll show you guys getting on the plane i'm thinking we've got three seats to ourselves but we'll have to wait and see because it is really busy so but yeah that's everything from us for now and we'll see you in a bit Hi everyone, so we're just leaving the cabin bar now. This is the menu for it. So you've got light bites, breakfast, burgers, just your typical airport food, I suppose. Um, here's Kieran. Um, and we're just gonna have a look now in Boots 
for a bit of a meal deal. Um, they've been a bit ransacked earlier, so hopefully it should be fine. We'll just try not to hit any people. Um, but what we'll do, because Boots is right near the start, we'll. Um, what we'll do, because Boots is right near the start, we'll do a little bit of a walking tour, because we're not long until we're going to be boarding on the flight now. So, yeah, we'll do that and we'll show you around. Hey everyone, so we we're going to do the tour of the airport, but it's just so busy, so we just thought we'll just come to the gate. Um, I went and asked one of the staff on here, they were really lovely, and they said to us what gate it was before it was announced, so we're hoping that she was telling the truth now, because we're outside it. Gate number five. If not, we'll come in for you. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, like all the staff in like all the shops have been absolutely lovely. Um, we were just saying that the airport's really good. It's really small. We've got everything you need here, but it is just a bit too small for the amount of flights that come through here, in our opinion. So, because it's if it's a busy day, like you really know about it, don't you? Yeah, there's not really anywhere to sit either, so. But we're hoping that we're at the right gate for the flight. Boarding opens in the next five minutes or so. So hopefully it will be fine and then we'll go on the plane and we'll show you our experience of boarding. I'm sure it'll be lovely. Fingers crossed. So it turns out it's gate seven, not gate five. She lied to us, we're coming for you. Can't believe it, but we're ready. So look, we're on Leeds Breath and Airport runway, woo! So we're just walking through now and I can't believe it, Jet 2 actually board their planes on time. So we'll see, hopefully we actually get an on time departure and we get to Hanya nice and early. The planes, oh wow, we're there, we're going. So no, it has been a really nice experience and all the staff have been so lovely. I must, I must say, even the lady just checking our passport details there, she was really lovely as well. Um, so yeah, so just, we, we just want to get in the flight now, um, just relax, hopefully have just a nice chilled flight and then we can go. So all looking great. Um, Kieran, as always, is holding us up. Here he is. So I'll just do a bit of recording so that you can see all the lovely planes. Wait and see. So we've just had the signal, we're going on the plane. So I'm gonna film the whole experience of boarding, even though it's probably not gonna be that fun. It's not like with Virgin or anything like that, is it? No, it's not the same as Orlando. No, no premium economy with this, but we are sat quite close to the front, so hopefully it should be quite nice. <laughs> so here we are, you probably can't hear a word I'm saying right now, because I'm sure it's really loud. Um, but yeah, onto our plane. Planes are very loud. That is about the most technical speech that you'll have from us on this entire flight. The planes are loud. <laughs> go, nice view of the airport. So I think with all of the flights from Leeds Bradford, I don't think that you actually have to take a shuttle bus or anything. Hi, I love your Sorry, I've just touched that. <laughs> you just turned it off. That's just mine. He's got his there. Oh, that's all right. Thank then. you, Thank love. You. It's a lovely looking plane. Definitely want those seats for extra leg room. Hopefully 
hopefully no one sat in the seat next to us. We were just saying the, the plane seems really clean, doesn't it? And, and it seems quite new as well, so it seems like a really nice plane. Yeah, there's lots of leg room as well, so just let's go. Can't wait to get in the sun now. So yeah, this is our view. So we'll catch up with you in a little bit. in your seats please until the seatbelt signs have gone off even then we're asking people to disembark the aircraft row by row so please remain seated it does cause significant problems people start blocking the aisles with suitcases so if you've taken your suitcase down I'd ask if you could put it out of the way please so you're not blocking the aisle we have arrived and there's a shuttle bus and the, that is the worst shot of us. It's not even 20 minutes. <laughs> So we've landed at Hanyu Airport, so that's just behind. Yep, let me just flip. So there's the airport. Really small airport. It was really quick, wasn't it, from landing to yeah. um, get through to get through passport control. It was only like uh, 20 minutes, I think, in total. Um, we luckily we always pick the wrong queue, but somehow we managed to pick the right queue for this one. We were in the middle, and they had two people doing passport control, where the other queues. Uh, or just have one person and then we've got our car rental we rented through yeah. avis and budget so here's, um, our, here's our little car here it is so we've got a, a little red toyota iGo it's really cute it's an automatic as well so it's like driving in america so it's yeah. like we're in america um uh, the lady was really lovely and we got a really super deal uh, and we did it through rentalcars.com um, and we got some discount, we got a voucher code off that as well. So for one week's car rental through budget it was only £145, um, so really, really reasonable. Um, yeah, it's just it's been really easy to get through hasn't it and the little car park is literally next door to the airport, yeah, so. isn't it? I'm so happy we picked to go because we were initially booked with a company which was off-site. Um, it, apparently it wasn't far but you had to like walk to it and it's dark so we were thinking well it's the last thing we probably want to do so yeah. let's go with Budget and Avis who were literally as soon as you walked through airport secure uh, through passport control they were right there weren't they yeah in the lobby weren't they and then yeah. you come out the doors and then 
well, the car's here, so mm. we're just going to drive to our little house now and then... And you can take um, some footage on the way to the house, can't you? Yeah, if it's light enough. Um, yeah. But it's been a lovely flight as well, like... Yeah, know. fair play to Jet too. I thought it was absolutely lovely. The, the plane was really nice. It was a really smooth flight. A little, a few, as they say in pilot jargon, a few lumps and bumps on the way in. It was in at the end, wasn't it? So oh, it's, it's nothing, everything was else it? was really smooth. We just watched a few programs on in the iPad, had a few little snacks. Yeah. And then, yeah, so we're here now. Um, the weather's quite nice, actually. It's nice and cool, bit mm. of a breeze. It's about 16, 17 so. degrees, so it's, it's, it's a bit chilly. Like, you need your hoodie, but I think it's, it's really lovely for the first week of May. Yeah, so we're going to get off and we're going to you know, shoot off to the little house that we've got. So we'll definitely show you at some point. Yeah. We're probably not going to do a room slash house tour tonight because we're quite tired because it's um, half past 11 at night here. Um, so we probably won't do that tonight. Although maybe we should because obviously it's like we won't have messed it up or anything. We won't have made it any any worse than what it is. We will see it pristine and checked in and everything like that. Uh, but we'll, we'll let you know one way or another. We'll probably release that as a video on its own. If you see it, you see it tonight. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. But yeah, we shall uh, see you when we get there. Yeah, bye. Just being taken to our little house now by the owner. Just park the car. Hi everyone. Hi. So we're all checked into our holiday home while we're here in Hanya. It's really nice, yeah, isn't it's, it? It just seems really sweet. Um, the guy's been really nice. He's given us loads of little tips and mm. a little bit of a tour and the do's and don'ts, the usual sorts of things. But he's been really lovely. He lives next door. So. <laughs> yeah, so we'll try and be quiet. Um, he uh, gave us a little tour of the area and it seems like it's in a really good place, doesn't it? Yeah, he took us down a few little, uh, side streets and was showing us a few things quickly, so that was really sweet as well, because it was mm. quite, well, it was, what, nearly one o'clock? Nearly one o'clock in the morning here, so um, his name was Vasilis, so if Vasilis is by any chance going to watch this, then shout out, you are lovely. <laughs> Um, but we just thought we'd do the room tour now, or the house tour. So um, you walk in from outside, here's Kieran again, and then you come in, you've got a really nice living room area, so nice big flat screen TV, and I'm sure that I'll have Netflix and everything on. You've got a dining table, there's a little shop around the corner, and I found this, which is like the biggest bag of waffles that I've ever seen. Look at it in comparison to Kieran's head. They're just insane. They're and only like three euros or If you've never had them, if you've never been to Greece before, oregano ruffles are life. Um, as part of a little welcome gift, we got some fruit and some wine and some bottles of water. Uh, but then you're straight into your little kitchen area. So you've got oven, kettle, espresso machine, fridge freezer. Um, and there's a bathroom on every floor. So again, these are doing really nice and you get all your little amenities. Hello. So you get all your little shampoos and everything like that. And we've got upstairs. Let's follow Kieran upstairs. I'll try not to show Kieran's bum. <laughs> so I'd just say one thing, I suppose, if you did have kids, I mean, the stairs are quite steep. So this is probably the room that we're gonna stay in. That's why it's best to do the room tour now because it's not been messed up yet. Yeah, it's a nice bed as well. And it feels quite firm, but I'm sure it'll be nice. Um, so yeah, you've got these little lights at the side, which look good. You've got your power outlets down there. There's a TV as well. TV there. And there is a washing machine in here. There's loads of wardrobe space. Yeah, loads of wardrobe space and loads of hangers as well, which is great. Um, another bathroom in here. So again, there we are. Hello. Um, so they're all, all the bathrooms are exactly the same. Um, yeah, it's all kitted out with aircon and everything like that. And then we'll just go up to the third floor, which is another king size bedroom. Just let Kieran turn the light on when he can find it. 
So again, exactly the same layout. It's a bit warmer up here though, but I suppose heat rises. It's identical, isn't it? It's literally identical, yeah. So again, the throne, um, exactly the same layout. Um, so yeah. So what we'll do is we'll end the house tour here. That was only a quick one, but like I think it showed you everything you need to see. We just yeah. got it off booking.com, didn't we? I think it was an Airbnb as well. Yeah, it seemed um, really spacious as well and it seems very clean. Yeah, very clean. And um, for a week's stay in May, it was £500, so quite reasonable actually. Yeah, that's, that's pretty decent to be honest. Um, and that was a free cancellation as well. So. Um, it seems really reasonable. The guy was really accessible as well on WhatsApp. So yeah, so yeah, he's been lovely as well so far. But yeah, so we will, well, have a little bit of a snack. I think we've not had to, we've not had any tea, no. and then we're gonna just chill out and go to sleep because it's quite late now. So yeah, to try and get used to the time difference because we're two hours ahead of the UK here. And um, so what we'll do is we'll end the video here. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it through to the end, we're not too sure how it's all going to get stitched up together yet. So we're not too sure at the moment what you will have seen and what you won't have, but you will have had a variety of our travel day of some description. But yeah, um, comment for you to see the rest and we'll comment to show you around what we got up to. And yeah, yeah, leave us a comment down below. Yeah, and what is it? Oh, please like, subscribe and comment down below. So thanks for watching and bye. Good night, bye.